Nation. So today's video is by my main man, T-Moss Boss Productions. He's also a fellow reactor and he does other stuff too like rants and gameplays and all that stuff. He's a cool guy. He's a really cool guy. He talks a lot during his reactions. <laughs> More than blasphemous, but he's still a cool guy. But anyways, today's video of him is roasting of TNA wrestling. Oh, this is gonna be good because TNA needs a good roasting because god damn they're awful. Well, the only good thing that's saving them right now is broken Matt Hardy. Deet! Deet! I can't do that voice. I just can't. I just... Have you seen the... D Deleter Decay match at Bound for Glory? That was so weird. So weird. <laughs> these matches, man. These goddamn matches. Anyways, let's full screen this. And let's do this shit. Bring it, Timos. So, you know, I don't know. That, that, I guess I'm, I'm just going to call this the roast of TNA wrestling because these, th this guy, Jeff Jarrett, you. <laughs> so pretty much the roast of Jeff Jarrett in a way, but also TNA Impact. Because Jeff Jarrett, you, you done made some mistakes. You, you done, okay, hold up, all right. You done made some mistakes, all right, because how are you going to start this company, right? You start this company, his net worth 15 mil, okay? I don't know what his net worth was before um, he started TNA Impact. Back when it was called NWA TNA. Million, probably, I don't know. But it's like, you, you must have thought this company was going to be bigger than WWE, and it's all like... This company will even be bigger than that little comic book WWE, or no, that like that kids magazine WWE made back in the day. Okay, it will it will oh, be bigger right. than that. All right, it will even be bigger than like what some of it like what what's something WWE's lowest point um, XFL. Because I remember XFL's I lowest point a uh, thing where WWE I think it was Vince McMahon he started like this like or the World Bodybuilding WWE Federation football show or something XFL let's just say the lowest point of WWE will be bigger than TNA Impact okay always will be bigger all right yeah so here's the thing Jeff XFL is bigger than TNA is fifteen sad to say. Vince McMahon is $1.12 billion, okay? A billionaire! That's with a B. <laughs> and Jeff Jarrett's net worth is worth only 15 mil, okay? And then I was like, let's look at a WWE wrestler's net worth. So I looked up John Cena's net worth. John Cena is worth more than Jeff Jarrett, and Jeff Jarrett has his own company, okay? John Cena is only known for That's his pretty sad, shirts. though. But his bright shirts are doing better than your whole show. Your whole show. When, and it's all like, Jeff, okay, because I know he started the company with his dad, so I know his dad was probably still running the company. But see, here's the thing, Jeff. You're a wrestler at your own company, okay? I can understand that. Vince McMahon, he was a wrestler at his own company. Oh. Uh, see, here's the thing I don't get. Yeah. Vince McMahon. Sad to say he's he a wrestler, yeah. He's from wrestling. So, you know, he's only one of them behind the scenes, dude. He comes once in a you while to wrestle. You departed from your own company. How do you depart from your own company? Man, does that... Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me let me say... Let me explain that to you. Let me explain that the whole depart thing. He left the company. He founded. He started. He <laughs> created. And then he went to create the GWF, which is not doing good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. GFW. I, never mind. I, I, Global it, Federation it, it, Wrestling. like a moment where people need to forget... That's a moment people definitely need to forget. How do you depart from your own company, man? Okay, how is that? How do you, how do, you do that? How do you do that? Okay. When you he sell just, all your like, stocks to Panda company. Energy, that's company. how? He left his company, and seriously, this dude was wrestling over in Japan for a while, okay? They say he departed sometime last year, and he was wrestling over in Japan, then came back this year. And it's all like, what kind of mess is that? Like, bro, bro. Bro, okay, how does that make any sense? That don't make it doesn't any make any sense. That does not make any sense to me whatsoever. You can't, do, you can't do something. That's not something that's normal. That ain't normal, okay? You, you serious? I don't know. I don't know what happened to you with, with that that day. You decided to just leave your own company, the one you founded, okay? The one, <laughs> the company you founded. All right, come on, man, get up out of here with that. And it's all like, and then Dixie then Carter, man, the Carters. Okay, let's 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 talk about the wrestlers. All right, 
Because I feel like some of the wrestlers, they realized they made a mistake. But when, oh, the majority yeah. of them are WWE wrestlers. First major wrestler was on TNA Impact. It was Hulk Hogan, all right? And then Hulk Hogan was all like, oh, my goodness. I can't. What am I doing here? Like, you know how, like, Hulk Hogan, man, like, in TNA. Oh, my God. Like, why are we a couple? And then that was probably Hulk Hogan when he went and stepped foot into TNA Entertainment Wrestling Impact, whatever they want to call themselves. When he stepped foot in there, he was all like, why am I here? I'm taking over this shit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then he probably he probably picked up the phone and was all like, he was probably hiding in the bathroom in TNA Entertainment. It was all like, Vince, Vince, okay, I, I know I'm not supposed to be talking to you right now. <laughs> in TNA Impact. This show sucks. It's, I don't, look, I don't know what Jeff Jarrett was thinking. I don't even know why I left, okay? This but, show right, sucks. There's a here's guy the in a shark suit running here's around here's thinking here's he's here's a shark here's and here's pretending here's to be here's Steve here's Austin. So I'm going to leave, right? I'm going to take off running out the back door. They ain't going to expect that. They expect me to go out in the ring tonight. But I'm going to leave out the back door, okay? I'm going to need I'm gonna need you to come and pick me up because I don't know why I'm here. Why am I here right now? I, it's like, it's it's so weird here. It's like the ring is retarded looking, okay? <laughs> Jerry, he, Six he, side he, ring. He's, he's, he's talking about departing from his own company. How do you depart from your own company, all right? I don't know when he planned on doing that. But anyways, no, I'm, I'm going to just, this, is, this took place back in 2004. And so he was probably all like Vince, okay, Vince. Vince, there's you're a big like, steroid looking dude you're, here. You're that thinks he's mankind. You're doing one down the street. Okay, all right. So here's the thing. They have a back door. Um, it's like, all right, so let, let, all right, it's like the back door. It's like kind of in front of McDonald's. It's in, it's in front of McDonald's. I don't know what their specials are. I don't care about their specials. You guys just pick me up right now, okay? Pick me up. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then after that... Pick me up Vince, so I can bury Shawn Michaels like, again. You can't come back to wrestling because they all know you left. And then so it's like Hulk Hogan, he just, you you messed up. You messed up. Then Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle, he probably had that, uh -huh. talk with that same talk with Vince. Vince was all like, you know what? No, I'm, I'm not picking you up. You, you just got to learn your lesson. And then Kurt was all like, well, dang, I can't go back. So I, I'm, I'm just going to have to make what do here. All right. And it's all like, I, I don't know. If if I left WWE... They made me wrestle show, Desmond Wolf, Not Nigel McGuinness, but Desmond Wolf. Impact, Save me, Vince. I would probably... I would say... It would probably be right in the middle of a match, okay? They I made me quit 20,000 times. And then just grab the microphone, tell the guy, give me a mic. They probably I was X Division guy. champion, for fuck's sake. I would pick up the mic. Pick me like, up! I don't belong here, okay? I don't belong here, so next week... I lost to the Black Machismo! And I would address an apology, because I don't belong here. I feel like half the fans, the fans, they would boo me, and then it's just so like, the majority of you guys are from WWE. Shut up, okay? Just shut up. And then the wrestlers, it's all like, you guys, I feel like the only wrestlers that appear on T TNA Impact, wrestlers that have been fired, or wrestlers that are over the age of 50, okay? Or over the age of 40, all right? Maybe, maybe somewhere in 30, maybe somewhere over 35. I feel like once when they, when they reach that point where they're too old and they, they, they ain't gotten the most massive beating from a WWE wrestler and he's younger than them, I feel like then they leave or, you know, Jeff Jarrett talks them into it and it's just so like, I don't know, he, he couldn't talk me into leaving WWE, a show my family, my grandparents, okay, was watching. My parents was watching, all right? Me and my, like, everybody watches W. I'm pretty sure if I ask people, what would you rather watch, WWE, TNA, Impact, they probably wouldn't even be a wrestling WWE. fan. WWE. But would choose WWE. If That's you're not a wrestling fan, you don't even know what TNA is. Don't say WWE. It's all like, what the hell's TNA? Okay, you... <laughs> He, Jeff Jarrett was probably all like, it's it's a little bit too late to end this company now, so I, I just got to just, just do whatever. And so it's just all like, I don't know. I, in that, I was surprisingly in that company. And it's all like, they don't even, I don't even think they go out and do like touring shows. Like, do you hear? Oh, they went to they India. Go, that was their they, big they plan. They be going to the UK. They be going all over. 
I feel like TNA Impact, they just stay in one arena and was like, this is all we can afford. And plus the people here, they feel sorry for us. So At least they moved away from the asylum. They came. They moved away from that. At least they moved away from the asylum. They didn't come here any other year. <laughs> it's all like, at least WWE, they be coming here like But now they're in they Universal they Studios. Come, they go everywhere like one year. They go to the UK for one year. They go to the Japan for one year. They go everywhere for one year. But anywhere else, please, TNA Impact, they're like, we ain't got that type of money. Our guy's net worth is 15 mil, okay? We don't got that type of money. What, what's, what's, let's see. Okay, because let me see Kurt Angle's, um, his net worth. Because it's like, if it's more than Jeff Jarrett, it's all like, man, that's sad. We it will be sad. 20 million. Wow. He, his net worth is 5 million more dollars than the, the founder of this. <laughs> Kurt Angle God damn it, Jeff. by TNA Impact. Like, oh my God. How much does Kevin wow. Nash make? He's, wow. When he was there. Wow, that's sad. That is sad. Is he but still he there? Is, um, yeah. Is Kevin Nash this, still there? I don't even know anymore. Because it's pre pretty much what I think of TNA Impact. It's what happens when Monday Night Raw and uh, ECW, when they have a kid, but WWE wants nothing to do with it. They're like, get that ugly looking kid away from me. I want nothing to do with you. Stay away from me. I swear I will kick you so hard. Okay? <laughs> and it's just, just a red headed stepchild. Do not no I don't, I don't want no hugs, okay? I, I do not want no hugs. That's what I feel like they do. But you know, I I hey, that's the man's company. He had to just deal with it. <laughs> just just deal with it, okay? He's he's probably there's probably so many people telling him left and right WWE is better. And he's just all like, I know. I know. But I I just I just gotta deal with it. They, they need you gotta be ashamed fight. of yourself, Jeff. For that the, 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 no mercy the, money the that went towards TNA. Because like, he knows he knows WWE is better than TNA impact. And it's all like you can't convince yourself otherwise that it's not. It's all like, come on man, come on. Really, really, okay. So, anyways, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the roasting of TNA Impact, wrestling, whatever they want. What do they call themselves? I'm just going to call them TNA because it's like they ain't, they ain't changed. So, sooner or later, okay, it's going to probably, it's, they just going to probably just say T. They're all like short for TNA, Entertainment, Impact, Wrestling. It's all like, what do you, what do you guys want to call yourselves? Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And, um, yep. Peace. They're still called. T Wait, I don't even know anymore. What are they called now? TNA Impact Wrestling. They seriously need to change their name, man. Because TNA, really, from an outside observer, if you're not a wrestling fan and you hear the name TNA Wrestling, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Oh, is that like tits and asses? Because you gotta admit. They pretty much did that just to get a name out of it. Because it was called NWA TNA. And they admitted on the first episode, that's what we're about. Tits and ass. They didn't say it, but that's what they were trying to say. Then they broke away from NWA and just became TNA Wrestling. Uh, when was the last time I watched? When I can't remember when I gave up on TNA Wrestling. I think it was when AJ Styles was being turned into such a goof. Because Christian Cage made him his bitch. Kurt Angle made him his bitch. And then so many people from WWE came in. It became WCW 2.0. It just got ridiculous. I think it was around the time where I stopped watching with Samoa Joe. Became TNA champion when he was starting to write... Wrestle Booker T. That, yeah, around when Booker T came along, and then when I just stopped giving a shit. Once in a while, I tune in, but I so get a massive headache every time I tune in to watch TNA. Oh my god. And the way they edit their shows, it's so goddamn weird. It's like they edit, they tape their shows weeks in advance, and then they edit together and. They got rid of Mike Tenay in commentary and replaced him with Josh Matthews and the Pope D'Angelo De Niro. Oh my God. And what is up with Josh Matthews doing the Vince McMahon voice? That's not your regular voice, mate. 
Josh Matthew, regularly speaking, his normal voice, he sounds normal, but on commentary, he sounds he's like about to take a shit all the time. He's like, oh my god, Maka Shabarik Sherry is going down. It's the Bro Squad. Abyss is coming down. Fuck. Just gives me, I just get angry every time I think of TNA, but the only saving grace is Matt Hardy, of course. Who would have thought Matt Hardy was the only saving grace? But anyways, Team Oz, great rant. Really great rant. And that's about it. Humanoid Nation, Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Los chilenos no multiplicamos, hay un problema, lo solucionamos, por todo el mundo los chilenos andamos, de bonichoro ahí no paramos, tecnología muy avanzada.